Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a mundane evening sky like this one into a glorious night sky. The size of this document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Call up your quick selection tool. Click and drag your tool over the trees and landscape. Then go to Select and Refine Edge. When the Refine Edge window opens, click on Smart Radius. I'll slide the radius to about 33 pixels. Keep in mind, depending on your photo size and resolution, you may find a different radius amount works better for you. Using a fairly large brush size, paint over the entire landscape, including the tops of the trees. When you lift up your pen or mouse, you'll see the Refine Edge tool did a remarkable job fine-tuning the quick mask. Go to Select, Save Selection, and we'll title this Trees. Click on the New Layer icon. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option and Delete to fill the layer with black. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. We'll blur this a bit, so go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 0.3 pixels. We'll call up the Levels window now, press Ctrl or Command L. We'll change the input levels, type in 214 for the shadows and 232 for the highlights. Let's rename this layer Stars. We'll change the blending mode to Screen. So right now the stars are covering our entire landscape. So go to Channels and press Ctrl or Command as you click on the tree's channel. This will call up its selection. Go back to Layers and click on the Layer Mask icon. This created a layer mask of the landscape over the stars. We need to invert the layer mask so the stars appear over the sky. With the layer mask active, press Ctrl or Command I. Let's add a little color to the stars. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. Click on Colorize and type in 220 for the hue and 10 for the saturation. This adds a little bit of blue to our stars. Make the base layer active and then click on the new layer icon. Press Ctrl or Command and delete to fill the layer with black and then press on the layer mask icon. We're going to fill this layer mask with a gradient so click on the gradient tool and click on the top left box which is the black to white gradient. Make sure linear gradient is highlighted. Go approximately a quarter of the way up your document and press shift as you click and drag up to the top then release. This created a black to white gradient on the layer mask which reveals black at the top of the sky and gradually becomes clear as it gets closer to the horizon. The stars are a bit too bright so click on the star layer and change the opacity to 50%. We now have a gorgeous star filled night sky however let's add a bit of a northern lights effect to really make it dramatic. Click on the top layer and then click on the new layer icon. Click on the gradient tool open the gradients and click on the arrow that opens the list of your gradient presets. I'm choosing a default preset called Noise Samples. This window will open. For now I'm going to click OK so we can just see this set in the thumbnail window. I'm clicking on the first box which is a preset called Blues. Click on the gradient box to open the gradient editor and uncheck Restrict Colors and check Add Transparency. Go to the left edge of your document, press shift as you click and drag to the other side, then release. I'm opening the navigator and sliding the view size down. Then I'll click on edit, transform, and perspective. I'll go to a bottom corner and click and drag to the right. This pulled out both bottom corners of the gradient, which makes it look like the source of colors is coming from straight above. To accept the transform, click the little check mark at the top or press enter or return. To see the entire document in our window, press Ctrl or Command 0. We'll rename this layer Lights. Go to the landscape layer mask and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Then press the layer mask icon. 
It created a layer mask next to our lights because the lights layer was active. The lights are a bit too bright, so we'll click on the lights layer and change the opacity to 50%. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur the lights by 3 pixels. Let's constrain the lights to just the middle area of the sky. Call up your brush tool and bring the opacity to 100%. Make sure you have black as your foreground color and choose a large brush size. Now start brushing over areas above and below the lights. By painting on the layer mask, we're actually masking out the lights over the sky. Let's add a little bit more color to the lights. Click on the lights layer to make it active. Change the blending mode to color and bring the opacity down to about 10%. Click on the foreground color to open the color picker. I'm going to choose a kind of a bright fuchsia color. I'll reduce the size of my brush by pressing on the right bracket key a few times and then brush in the color. If I want to make the brush larger, press on the left bracket key. So here is our final star-filled evening sky illuminated with subtle colors of northern lights. Using the methods shown here, have fun transforming your own photo into one that'll take your breath away. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.